is Alessandra. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making something uh, that's a, a lot of fun to eat and they're called chiacchiere. Chiacchiere are um, a flaky pastry dough that's not very sweet but it has a powdered sugar on the outside. Uh, they're known pretty much all over Europe. I'm sure pretty much everybody all over the world makes them. It's a very simple dessert with all different uh, names. In Italy too, they have all different names. They call them chiacchiere. In Napoli, they're called chiacchiere, which basically means gossip. So one gossip leads to another. One chiacchiere leads to another. In um, uh, other parts, they're called frappe, uh, ciotoli, all different names. They're also known in uh, Poland and Eastern Europe as Krushik. I'm pretty sure they're called Krushik. Anyway, let's get started. So here we are. We have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, just a quarter of a cup of sugar, half a glass of white wine, one stick of melted butter, four ounces. Then I have two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, the zest of a lemon, and I have four eggs. Since I decided just about 20 minutes ago to make these, I pulled the eggs out of the fridge. They're cold, so you need a room temperature. So what I did, I just filled it up with a, a hot tap water, put the eggs in, got my ingredients. Now I'm sure my eggs are ready to be used. Do not put boiling water, otherwise you're gonna end up with uh, hard boiled eggs. So let's get started. In my mixing bowl, I'm gonna add all the ingredients together and then with a hook attachment, I'm going to uh, start mixing it. One other ingredient I forgot to mention is I'm going to be putting a couple tablespoons, three tablespoons of Sambuca. Uh, I have the Molinari one. It's a, um, it's a licorice essence and it's a taste. If you don't prefer, you could just use a vanilla essence. But I really like the little touch of anise in my chiacchiere. So I'm putting all the ingredients in. I'm going to start first with the wet. Okay. I'm sorry, first with the dry. Then stir it a bit and add my eggs. Four, the butter, and the wine. Okay, once I zest the lemon in, I put the sambuca and meet me by the mixer. And I'm going to get started, take a look. And like I said, three tablespoons of the sambuca. It real gives it so much flavor, okay? And then you're gonna need later, I'm gonna say about a cup of powdered sugar um, to um, to put on top of the uh, yakere. Okay? Once it starts grabbing everything, if you need to help it, just use a, um, a spatula to remove the butter, uh, the butter, the, the flour from the side. The dough is coming together and it's going to be forming a, a, a bowl. And then I'll show you exactly what, um, when to stop it and what it needs to look like before you start stretching it out to form the, um, the little strips to fry. Okay, the dough seems um, a little wet, so I'm gonna add just a couple tablespoons of uh, flour. Okay. 
Again, sometimes it could be the eggs are very large. Um, so it's, it, it needs a little bit of flour for sure. The dough's been mixing for about five, six minutes. I'm going to stop it and finish working it on the counter. So it gives me a better feel of how it really should be. I'm going to sprinkle the um, workplace with some flour. Now, as I'm doing this, I want to see how long it takes for my children to smell me frying the cat kitty and come running downstairs. So I'm going to play a trick on them. What I'll do is I'll start frying and then um, they'll come down and they'll need to help me with the rest of them in order to be able to eat them. So look at this, look what a beautiful, soft, pliable dough. It's just gorgeous. I don't even think I need all the flour that I put on the counter. I really, I really don't. It looks great. Uh, look, oh, it's so soft. Look at this. Look at that, see it? Look how beautiful it is. Okay, I'm just gonna work it because I wanna show you in the inside what it needs to look look like in order for you to know that it's ready to rest okay see it doesn't stick to the counter it's just a perfect dough ready for the fun part as the dough is resting I've set up a uh, pyrex plate but you could also use a um, cookie sheet with some um, paper towel on top and I have a frying pan here with about, I would say, an inch of oil in it. Uh, I'm gonna say I use approximately two and a half cups of vegetable oil for frying. Now I'm gonna move back to the table and see if the dough is well rested. Okay, let's try the first piece. Okay, gonna put it on a floured work surface. And what you're going to do is start stretching it out you could also do this with a pasta machine i really don't find the need to do it i could get it thin enough just rolling it out like this keep adding a little bit of the flour so it doesn't stick on the counter also if you have a large um a large wood uh, almost like a cutting board you could work dough very well on it you want a thin, I'm going to try to show you the thickness that you want. You want it the thinner, the better. You'll see they'll get all bubbles on it and crunchy and light and flaky. They really do melt in your mouth. Okay. Perfect. Let me make sure that the oil reached its temperature and so we could start frying them. All right. With the different names of the chiacchiere throughout Italy also come uh, the different shapes. This is what I like to do. I like to make the bows. So what you do is you cut a rectangular about two inches long and, and I'm going to say six across. Then you cut a slit in the middle. You pick it up and you fold it in. And look at that, you have a little dough, a little bow. Let me try it again, okay? They don't need to be um, exact in shape and size. That's the fun part of them. They could be any way you like them. The only thing, if you just make regular strips, my wheel came apart. If you don't have one of these wheels, you could just use a, a straight, a knife or a serrated knife will be the same thing. If you do just get make triangles, I suggest you slit them in the middle just so that um, it, it lets them, they fry differently when you do that. When you leave them whole, it's not the same. So I'll show you how they are like this. This one will make a nice large bow. to know if your oil is ready just put in a, uh, uh, a skewer if you see that it's boiling you see the frying the little bubbles that means the oil is ready to start frying there you go. 
Don't walk away from the oil. See all those bubbles? That's exactly what you want. See, now that's a ball, and that's just a regular shaped one. My, um, my flame is on medium high, and you're probably going to keep it on that. If you're not quick enough in cutting and frying them, maybe lower a little bit. You don't want your oil to burn. This is the color you basically want. Again, these were things that were made years ago when they did not have such sophisticated products. So it's basically flour, eggs, and sugar. You know, as time went on, people started adding the lemon zest and the sambuca. And yes, but the original recipe does call for the white wine. All right, this is how I take them out. I kind of just pick them up and give it a little bit extra time to drain over the stove and then move them on to the paper towel. See that? They really don't absorb um, a lot of oil. I'm not going to lie, they're fried. You know, I'm not going to say that they're uh, not fried. They are fried, but it's something that doesn't really absorb a lot of oil. What do I, what I do is I already start adding more. I got a helper. I was right. The minute I started frying, somebody smelled it and came down to help. Okay, it's moving right along. Um, we're almost done and soon to the next step. Okay, so but I'm going to say I fried for about 40 minutes. It was rather quick. This is how much the batch made. So I layered them in a serving plate. Uh, a, a plate and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a half a cup of powdered sugar and just um, add the sugar on top. You, they don't need to be hot when you put the powdered sugar actually. It will stick to them. I know some other stuff if it's not hot it will not stick. So this is and then what you do you just keep layering them and um, Add the sugar. I'm not gonna deny they're good with Nutella too and no powdered sugar. Just saying. Okay. Isn't this just fabulous? I mean, um, imagine having friends and family over. We will have those days again, right? Where everybody comes over and you just pull out a plate of this and some um, espresso or some buca or limoncello and you just keep uh, picking. And what's amazing too is all the different shapes make it interesting because you're like, oh, let me try this shape. Oh, no, no, let me try the bow. And you keep picking at it. It's just uh, a lot, a lot of fun. I will be giving these away. So um, some lucky people tomorrow are going to be getting some uh, chiacchere. Okay, I'm not going to put the powdered sugar on all of them. I'm going to leave some without because uh, some family members prefer without the sugar. One final one. See, even with putting the powdered sugar, I can't stop. Okay, now, am I going to taste it? Absolutely. Couldn't wait to get to this. So which one am I going to pick? I don't even know. All right, I'm going to pick this one. That's the bowl. They're, they're light and they're flaky and and just uh, my mouth is watery delicious mm. can you hear the crunch you don't taste the oil it's a quick frying process so it doesn't absorb it and if dough is made right it, it's just unbelievable thank you i hope you get to make them 
If you like my recipes, please hit the subscribe button. Um, enjoy. Stay well. Be safe. Ciao, ciao. Arrivederci. A presto. Bye.